damn it, looks like we're under attack, again, and now we're being hailed, on screen. Who are you, and what do you want? I'm from Hollywood, California, Earth, 21st century, and I have some news for you regarding, The Dark Knight Rises. What kind of rumors do you have for us, you know, the internet cannot be trusted, it's full of more shit than Piers Morgan. We have learned the details regarding the prologue to the film, and some information about the story's timeline, plus, a possible character revelation. Sounds good, if the viewers don't like spoilers, then I would not recommend watching the rest of this video, otherwise, let's hear it. The prologue, picks up where the Dark Knight left off, Batman is being chased by a ridiculous number of police cars, after a fast-paced chase, he manages to lose them. He enters a tunnel, and asks Alfred to make sure the bunker is secure for his arrival, suddenly, two trucks appear at the end of the tunnel, blocking the exit. He crashes into one of them, then Bane and his henchmen emerge from the vehicles, and while they stand still, Bane approaches Batman, who slowly rises to his feet. This is just intense, I'm glad they picked up where the last movie left off, what's this I hear about the timeline jumping ahead? We'll get to that, anyways, Batman limps away, already injured from being shot, bitten, and surviving a fall at the end of the dark night, and now recovering from a crash. Bane mentions the Joker, and Harvey Dent, and easily corners Batman, his only escape is through a nearby door, and up a flight of stairs, but he struggles to make his way up. Bane watches him climb up, and asks what exactly he's running from, that they both know where this is headed, and then, he calls him, Bruce. OMG, he knows his true identity, I'm getting chills, despite my robotic accent, please continue. The Dark Knight pauses, and as Bane makes his way to the top of the stairs, Batman turns to face his opponent, but he's in no condition to fight, he throws the first punch. Bane injures, or possibly breaks, his arm, and advances on Batman, hitting him several times, Batman uses his grapple gun in an attempt to escape. But Bane tackles him in mid-air, to the ground, he is unharmed by the fall, but the same can't be said for Batman, who is in a lot of pain. He manages to take out the lights, and uses his training to disappear, then gets Bane in a chokehold from behind, until his henchmen show up, taking the Dark Knight by surprise. Bane peels his arms off, then punches him hard in the face, Batman falls to the ground, Bane says that killing him will only end his agony. And that he wants him to see what happens next, then, he picks up the fallen hero, and smashes the bat over his knee, we hear a loud crack sound. Oh my, what an interesting way to start the movie. He drops Batman to the floor, and leaves the scene, while the Dark Knight lies still, motionless, and the screen fades to black. I believe this is why there's an eight-year gap between the Dark Knight and Rises. Batman needs time to heal, plus, he took the blame for Harvey Dent's crimes. So disappearing for a while seems logical, until the people of Gotham request his help. Sounds like Bane builds an army, and uses some familiar gadgets to spread chaos. Plus, looks like there's a new Batcave, Wayne Manor has been rebuilt, and we're introduced to the Batwing, so, what about this character secret you mentioned? Oh, yes, it's been rumored that Ellen Page is playing Barbara Gordon, also known as, Batgirl, which could be true since there's a major time leap in the movie. Thanks for the information. I hope our viewers contribute their thoughts and insight via comments and video responses, I cannot wait for this movie to come out. The prologue will be shown in front of the IMAX screenings for the new, Mission Impossible, Ghost Protocol movie, in theaters next month. And the first, full-length trailer for, The Dark Knight Rises, premieres with a new, Sherlock Holmes, a Game of Shadows movie, also in theaters next month. Please report back to us with any news or updates regarding this movie, we'll get the word out.